Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. Here's to the givers, the makers of smiles, igniters of dreams, who give of themselves unto others, who embody the true spirit of the season with gifts of hope, compassion, and time. Here's to the givers who give from the heart and make Christmas magic. Merry Christmas from Shields. Video games, he's terrible at it. Yeah. We all play this new game called Fortnite, and we probably, everyone kills probably around three, four guys around, but Smitty hasn't killed anyone yet, so I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's, it's been a problem around our house. My mom has sent some Norwegian chocolate, and it's just gone before I can share it with anyone because Smitty's already eaten it. The same with Lefsa, too. She sends that over, but we can't even taste it because Smitty's already eaten it, so. He always talks about how good of a hunter he is, but he's never brought any meat to the house either, so I'm kind of rattled about that, but I don't know. Uh, is there anything else? He's, uh, he's probably the worst. With a rough series against Union in their rearview mirror, North Dakota looked to put on a better performance at the Ralph against Western Michigan. In a departure from the norm, Friday night's first period saw a flurry of offense, featuring three UND goals, two coming from senior captain Austin Pagansky on the power play. Left of the goal, Kawaguchi in the middle, Pagansky scores! Kawaguchi to Pagansky, his second of the game. Back to Colton Pullman. Pullman shoots one, a deflection, they score! Scoring slowed after the five goal first, as both teams scored only once more in the final two frames. Adams comes off the wall, moves left and shoots and scores! To his left, to the middle, and snapped that one past Blecker. North Dakota hangs on to win this one by a score of 4-3. to three. Saturday began with the same defensive battle Friday finished with, as the Broncos struck for the lone goal in the game's first 39 minutes. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, guys are talking about it now already. You know, uh, we talk about growing as a team, and when you win games, you grow as a team. But I think you, you grow even more when you know you see the lineup changes that we've had due to illness and injuries. You, you grow exponentially. After Jones' goal to end the second, the momentum swung completely to the Fighting Hawks at the start of the third period, thanks to the hands of Cole Smith. Dakota busting into the zone to Smith, cutting radiant on a goal, he scores! Right off the face off, Cole Smith! The goal tied the school record for fastest goal to open the third period. Set by UND Hall of Famer and All-American Ben Chersky in 1952. We haven't put, a, put two games together in a while, and especially you at home with our fans, our, uh, our last home series before Christmas break, so it felt really good and the boys are ecstatic. 
The Fighting Hawks added on a pair of insurance goals during the third to help seal UND's first conference sweep of the season. Took a hit, got it to Gersich, who's headed to Mismatch, she scores! Again, Jones with a great play on the far boards. Fans are having a good time, and North Dakota has swept Western Michigan. Now in his second year at UND, sophomore forward Cole Smith has solidified his spot as a hard-working, dedicated teammate. Oh, Cole Smith, he's you know he's a great person. First of all, he's a great person. Uh, he's extremely hard-working, honest, honest person. Uh, he adds to our group not only on the ice but off the ice, and uh, you can see the success he's having isn't by a coincidence because of the person he is and how hard he works and uh, he invests in the game on a daily basis. I think I bring a pretty good work ethic on and off the ice, just uh, kind of lead by example type thing where we work hard on and off the ice and I think it brings a lot of energy on the ice for the guys. Uh, just energy, he's always uh, he's always going hard, making, uh, making the hard play and stuff like that. He's always kind of hitting, banging bodies down there and stuff like that. He's uh, just a big energy guy for us and that's uh, something we really need right now. He's a great teammate. Uh, he works hard. Uh, you know, he's a really good guy off the ice, and um, you know, you can tell on the ice he's just a very gritty player. Likes to, uh, you know, get in the dirty areas, and uh, just plays hard and plays an honest game. So uh, he brings a lot to our team. And uh, like I said, off the ice, he's a great guy. He's a uh, great character in our locker room, and uh, it's just good to have him in there. Although one of the quieter members of the team. Cole has used his shy personality to become a strong, silent leader for the team. He was kind of quiet right away, but as soon as you, got, you get to know him, he loves to talk and he always has an argument or something that kind of gets the voice going and he's really stubborn, so whether he knows that it's wrong, he doesn't want to tell us. I got away from the rink. Uh, the rink, uh, not too bad. Pretty good with the guys around here, but away from the rink, a little bit shy. Um, away from the rink, uh, when I get away, I just like to get outside. I like to be outside a lot, hunting and fishing. That's kind of my uh, peaceful place to be. And that's where I like to be outside the rink. An avid outdoorsman, Cole uses his love of nature to bond with his teammates. He's a big outdoors guy. He loves hunting and fishing and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, he kind of might be a little bit fake. I don't know. <laughs> um, no, but uh, he loves all that stuff. And um, he, he likes uh, doing things around the house. And he's, I mean, like I said before, he's always outside doing something. He's, out, he's, he's way too active for me. I like to kind of calm down most of the time. And he's always up and doing something. need something or any of the other roommates he's always there to help us out and he's kind of the dad in the house I would say even though the other guys are trying to be it I would say he's the dad like the other day when uh, we had a snowstorm out here he was the first guy out there to take away all the snow in front of our uh, house and stuff like that so I mean it's just uh, really fun living with him too. our mentality as far as what he brings to the table on his compete level and how he'd be a team first and uh, you know his skating ability he's a big body that, that moves extremely well and he's tough to play against and I know uh, I'm glad he's on our team and uh, I know uh, my, myself included and the rest of our team know, knows that it, we're glad he's on our team and not uh, playing against him on the other bench. UND closes out the first half of the season with a massive test as they hit the road to face second-ranked and fellow NCHC opponent, St. Cloud State. 
Uh, I mean, we had a goal before the Western Series that we we're gonna finish off um, before Christmas with four uh, victories, and we already got two. And our goal is obviously to win two up in St. Cloud too. But we yeah, always know that they're the first or one of the top three teams out there right now in the country. St. Cloud, uh, they're a fast team. You know, they, they uh, like to transition the puck, uh, quick up pucks. They like to uh, break out of their end extremely fast, and they like to commit four or five guys on the rush. And you know, they uh, they, they look for offense right away. So again, we're going to have to make sure we'll get our offense if we check the right way and play good uh, as our five man units on the ice, up and down the ice, uh, making sure that they don't get a lot of time and space. So that's one big thing. And the other thing is discipline. We're going to have to make sure that we stay out of the penalty box and, and limit our penalties and, and not let them. them get on the power play. Uh, obviously they're an offensive team that play extremely well in their building. This weekend's battle marked UND's fifth series in the last eight weeks where both teams have been ranked among the top ten in the USCHO poll. Really good team, high-powered offense. They like they're leading the country in, in goals, so it's a they're a very high po uh, high-powered offense, and we're gonna have to limit their opportunities. But it's gonna be a fun weekend, you know, going into St. Cloud. It's uh, NCHC fighting for that top spot, so it's gonna be a really fun weekend. Uh, yeah, they're very um, you know skilled, fast-paced team that you know plays hard and. Um, I wouldn't say they're over physical, but obviously NCHC hockey is very uh, fast and gritty. So, um, you know, we're just preparing for their speed and, um, you know, our defense uh, should, uh, you know, shut them down pretty well and handle their speed and their skill. So, uh, you know, it'll be a fun weekend and uh, it'll be fun to get in Christmas break then too.